Uh, we didn't expect COVAL to act with any accountability. We didn't expect the DA, uh, Elzea, to act with any sort of accountability to the black community. Yeah. Right? So, this is a pattern that we see, right? People cannot say that medicine is great if we have a 7% black population, but 45% of the rest are black. We cannot say Madison is great when they justify two officers, three officers, beating a child who wasn't doing anything, who was standing there, and they used a taser, they used kicks, they used punches, they put a hood over her, right? We cannot expect them to be the same people that give us justice. We want a different kind of accountability. We want them out, we want different people in Officer clearly beat a young girl. Uh, we didn't hear him say, anything, give any instructions, he jumps in the car, and he calls her. If anybody else would have done that, there would be a great accountability. He beat her, he tased her, he stumped her, he punched her, and they're calling him the victim. This is outrageous. That is absolutely the least that they that could do. They, they should have more conscious enough to know that they senselessly, senselessly beat a kid. They senselessly beat a kid who wasn't doing anything, who was standing there. Right, so the least that they can do is say no charges. Right, if someone attacks me and says to me, Oh, you should be thankful that I'm not going to put you in jail because I attacked you, it's not helpful to me. Right, you should have never attacked me, she should have never been charged. Right, and so we're not fooled by that. Those felonies should have never even been a possibility. It should have never been the case that she was attacked. It should have never even this should have never even happened. Right, so we're not thankful that they're trying to do a little part of it. Right, and in fact, if they're servants to us. They should always do things right, right? Anytime somebody's being put by the police, there should never be a charge, right? If somebody's just standing there and you come up and start kicking and punching and then tasing and hitting people, there should never be a charge. So we're not thankful for something that should have never happened, right? This should have never happened. This should have never been the case. And this is the least that they could do. It's not at all good enough. We're going to continue to, uh, to lift up the voice of the community, right? The community is saying that this cop has got to go. This cop is clearly by Island, right? He gets out very escalated. He's charging at somebody who's just standing there, right? He slams them down, he beats them, he kicks them, he punches them, and does it with it seems like with very little remorse, right? So the community is saying this cop has got to go. This cop has got to go. This police department is leadership that's accountable to the most vulnerable in the community, which are black people, right? Cobalt, we need somebody different, right? We need a district attorney who's actually going to stand up for communities. We're actually going to see the videotape and be like, look, you didn't have to do this, right? This was excessive, right? We are going to continue to lift those voices up. We're demanding community control of the police. The police need to be accountable to us. We're demanding full health care for her. She was traumatized. She was beaten, right? And we're going to keep fighting and uplifting those voices. That she did nothing wrong. It is okay for us to be emotional. Too many times black folks and especially black women are criminalized for having emotion. Um, and so we say no more. And we say that we need to have control over this process. And, that's why I'm and I'm also a right? long time um, studier of restorative justice. Free to Week actually um, uses um, transformative justice practices, which takes her into the next level. And what I do know is that um, there's no such thing as restorative court. Those two words are contradictions in themselves. Um, um, and so the fact that that even exists is laughable. Um, however, we do advocate for any type of, without um, any sort of you know, restored uh, or any program that would get people out of jail. We love that. We love people not in jail, right? Um, but to call it a restorative process is not true. We don't think a um, leader. And, and, and also, there's power. People have power to say who's the victim. Um, when you don't have the power to say, actually, I'm the victim, and I would like the police to be in a restorative justice process, then that process is not the only person uh, locked up in there for being beat up by the police, right? So we're extremely excited about you all being out. Um, and I don't. And, um, and that being said, I think people make all kinds of decisions when it comes to their freedom and as to why they're locked up. I have not had a personal conversation with Janelle, so I cannot make a comment explicitly about that. But I, but if there, I'm, this is what I'm sensing based on the panel, is that it seems like she had to participate in this in order to be let out. So I would suspect that she was like, I'd rather be out. So that's all I can say.
And, and one last thing, you know, uh, Jim Palmer from the Wisconsin Professional Police Officers Association maintains that what we saw in that videotape is consistent with training standards and practices across the country. What's your view? So practices across the country beat black people. They arrest black people disproportionately. And that's what we've been saying all along. Madison can't say they're different than everybody else, but they do what everybody else is doing. Madison, if that's true, then Madison is Ferguson. Madison is Chicago. Madison is Baltimore, right? Which are police departments that are very violent against the black community. And also, in terms of training, that same exact day, there was a, a, a white woman, Tessa Lee Kellogg, who I think is her name, who kicks an officer. She was not beaten. She was not tased, right? So it, this is not just a training issue, right? But Madison is just like everybody else, and everybody else is very violent with the black community. Thank you.